Come on now. There it is. All right. Well, this is what I get for trying to do a live stream in the middle of uh, uh, where Deliverance was filmed. <laughs> hey, guys. Dave Duford here, Final Expense Agent Mentor. I'll get right to the point. If I uh, lose you, then I'll come back here later. Uh, today's title of the video is uh, What Happens If I Fail? Uh, you know, a lot of people come into this business and are worried about, uh, you know, making a success of themselves and, and, and potentially not making a success of themselves. And uh, they're worried about the consequences that could happen because they're not successful selling final expense. And so um, what I'd like to talk to you about today is, uh, first of all, how my uh, cool my new sunglasses are. <laughs> but in all seriousness, what I'd like to talk to you about is what are the worst case scenarios of failing in this business? Because it's obviously a, con a concern, right? I mean, you have to look at the, the pros and the cons to any business venture that you get yourself involved in. And you need to make sure that whatever it is that you end up doing, you know what the upside is as well as the downside is. So it's really a truly uh, a smart thing to consider. Um, and, and you need to know that it isn't really that big of a potential downside if after all is said and done, this business isn't right for you. So when I sit down with a new agent who is expressing some kind of concern, come some, come some, some kind of worry that if they're trying to figure out if this business is right for them or not, I basically tell them this. If you do everything that I instruct you to do when it comes to selecting uh, the right leads that I tell you to do, the selecting and working as hard as you can the leads that you get, and you go out there and you actually give this an honest, earnest effort, if you do everything that I describe to you, it will be completely apparent to you within the context of, I would say, four weeks that this business is either right for you and it's a good idea to continue, or if it's not, and you should shut down and do something else. So so what, how does this actually look like on paper? So let's say, for example, you're doing direct mail leads like you should. And let's say you do $2,000 in investment in a direct mail campaign. That's probably gonna get you in a neighborhood of somewhere between 60 and 90 leads, depending on what kind of lead program you do. 60 to 90 leads is a lot of potential appointments. It should be somewhere between 30 to 45 appointments conservatively. That's a lot of opportunities for sales and a lot of opportunities to see if the people you're working with are uh, people you get along with, if the marketplace works for you and the setup and everything, uh, everything in, in detail should give you enough perspective to see if this is actually, again, in an appropriate type of business for what it is that you're doing. So again, I say all this because 